For more on this, we're joined by always entertaining Peter Schiff, CEO, Euro Pacific Capital. Welcome, uh, welcome back to Biz Asia America. Hope you will, and it's good to see you. Um, so, why is this new GDP calculation such a big deal? Well, it's all just smoke and mirrors. You know, you've got all these governments that have too much debt, so they have debt to GDP ratios that are now in uncharted territory. And what they're trying to do is inflate their GDPs because they think they can fool their creditors into thinking their economies are larger than they really are, so their debt will look more manageable than it really is. So you don't like this, and it's just making countries look like they're growing faster than they really are. Now, some would argue, some would argue that um, if they look a little bit, str bit stronger, what's, what's wrong with that? Well, because it, you're ignoring the actual problem. Why don't they get to the, the, to the real problem, which is, A, their economies aren't growing fast enough because they have too much government and too much regulation, and they have too much debt. So rather than trying to find ways to make the economy just look bigger, how about actually reducing the debt and allowing legitimate economic growth instead of just playing games by cooking the books? Now, the, the official that Sandra Gatman, the reporter in our last report, spoke to said that the UN, this is international standard, that it's not a big deal. Well, I don't know how, you know, if you're going to try to include drugs and prostitution in your GDP, first of all, you have no idea what it really is, because this is illegal activity. Uh, they're not reporting uh, these transactions, so the government is just guessing. And of course, they're not paying taxes. So whatever economic activity you're measuring, uh, it's not available to the government to service their debt. I mean, should the U.S. I mean, some say it could, if the U.S. did this, it would increase U.S. GDP by two or three percent. I mean, is this something the U.S. should even entertain? Well, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to change the numbers. And of course, what? You know, are they going to say that, hey, good news, we have more drug use? Uh, you know, there's more prostitution, so it's a positive for the GDP. And are we supposed to be upset if one, one quarter the GDP misses estimates because there weren't enough people buying enough drugs? The whole thing is ridiculous. And of course, the government's just going to guess the numbers. But if you look at what we recently did by including R&D spending, I mean, what, th that is ridiculous. I mean, if the R&D spending produces positive results, it's going to be reflected in the GDP. Right. But what if you waste your money? What if you spend your money researching something that turns out to be worthless? Why should that worthless spending go into GDP? The same thing we're now counting as investment in America, the money that we spend filming motion pictures or recording music. That is an investment, but the government is trying to cook the books again to make the U.S. economy appear stronger than it really is so we can fool our creditors into thinking we don't have as much debt as we do. All right, I'm, I'm sorry I brought up the U.S. economy, but I, I know you hate this idea altogether, but is there anything, anything at all that's good about calculating sex and drugs and all this terrible stuff that, well, we all think is bad generally? You know what? If the governments want to legalize it, if they want to legalize prostitution, if they want to legalize drugs, then fine, count it. But if you're going to ban it, if you're going to make it illegal, then don't throw it in the GDP, because certainly the drug dealers and the prostitutes aren't filing tax returns, they're not paying taxes, so there's no All right. income wait, 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 hang on, hang payment. on, I got I to gotta follow up with this, because you say, if it was legal, and so in some countries, some of this bad stuff is legal, though. I mean, so, so isn't it unfair oh. that if country A, who says prostitution is legal, they count it, and country B doesn't count it? Well, because if it's legal, you actually know what the numbers are. You're not just guessing. And the prostitutes are paying taxes. So that prostitution revenue is available to service your debt. So if you want to think, see, is your economy big enough to service the debt the government is piling on, you've got to look at the tax base. And countries that have legalized post prostitution, the prostitutes are paying taxes on the money they earn. But in countries where it's illegal, they're not. So if the government is going to say it's not legal, it's, then they're not going to be able to include it in the GDP. All right, Peter, I only have time for another question. And I'm doing this out of respect. I, I want you to give us one thing that you like about the European or the US economy. Well, I mean, I, I do like whatever capitalism still remains. I mean, the governments do whatever they can to thwart capitalism, to thwart individual freedom, 
by layering their economies with all sorts of oppressive regulations and taxes. But beneath the surface, there is still some elements of capitalism. And, and you know, thankfully, we have that because we still have some bright spots uh, to, to be appreciative of. But none of it is coming from government or the central banks. It's whatever we can do to, uh, you know, to overcome the obstacles that the government and the central banks are putting in our, on our, in our way. Peter Schiff, uh, CEO of Euro Pacific Capital, thank you very much for, for your thoughts on there. It's always good to have you on.